Well, folks, it's been uh, not too long since the Dark Sea update's release, and now we have an expansion for it. So, uh, let me cover up what's new in this. The Dark Sea now has new islands and structures. Treasure charts are now actually useful. There's a new set of sunken armor, and deckhands on ships got reworked. Here are some smaller additions. Your character can now tan when baking in the sun for a period of time. The tan is temporary and does basically nothing. The crew on your ship will now start fishing when your ship is parked, and will give you any fish that they catch once you take command of your ship. Ship sails now have an animation for going up or down. I think that's uh, pretty much it, so now I'll go into a little bit more detail in the main stuff. The Dark Sea now has new islands and structures to explore. That's kind of it. Treasure charts are now actually good! Finally, it's about time. Digging items from treasure charts can give these new modifiers to items, which can enhance their overall stats. The type of modifiers you get depend on what ground to dig it up from, like digging treasure up from the sand gives the sandy modifier, which gives an item extra intensity, or superheated, which gives power and intensity from digging up from the ground in hot temperatures. Even with this, I refuse to do anything that has to do with Shell Island. I hate that island for treasure charts. It's stupid. The new set of sunken armor is just like the original, except it gives attack speed instead of attack size. There's also this sunken bow staff that's a pretty good weapon. The way you get this set is from any chest that is submerged in any sort of water. This includes underwater structure chests and naturally spawning chests in islands like Whispering Cavern or Limestone Key. It's a 1 in 3000 chance to get from each chest and there's no pity. So, uh, have fun getting that. The deckhands you can hire on your ship have gotten reworked, and they seem much better. It no longer takes any fame or bounty to hire them. They level up from sinking ships. You can gift them armors or accessories that they like, which are the items that they're wearing, that may increase their loyalty to you. Higher loyalty from a deckhand allows you to give them wearable items, which are just for vanity, and artifacts, which will enhance the ship with stats, like 10% increased chance to escape a whirlpool or 7.5% looting, which increases the amount of sealed chests you can possibly get from sinking ships. You can get these artifacts from underwater structure diving, chests, bronze seal chests, etc. Upon leveling up the deckhands rank to adept, they will be assigned up to 6 professions that you can choose for them, which are cannoneer, navigator, shipbuilder, enchanter, chef, and merchant. Each profession has their own abilities, which give temporary buffs. Cannoneer increases cannon and mortar reload speed, and decreases the fuse length. Navigator sets resilience on your ship automatically to 100%, and will increase the ship's overall speed. Shipbuilders give repair bonuses for healing your ship. They'll also increase the max HP of your ship by a percentage. Okay, so that was a lie. I read that wrong. Because the shipbuilder doesn't increase your max HP, or the max HP of the boat, it just heals it by a percentage. It heals it by 5%. Enchanters give damage resistance for your ship and heals your crew. Chefs will automatically cook any fish your crew catches into a meal with seasonings depending on their profession tier. And merchants will sell 2-8 to eight random chests, armors, accessories, tools, and weapons depending on their profession tier, and can also buy items from you in exchange for galleons. They will need specific items to upgrade their profession tier, and the items needed are different for each profession. I believe I have covered up all the new things in this expansion. This is kind of a short video, but this was nothing more than just an expansion to Arcane Odyssey's previous update. Well, that's all I got for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe. And comment down below what your opinion is on this little expansion here. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.